was just reflecting on the research work we have celebrated thus far. You know, we have had the flow of fluids, we had the flow of people, we had the flow of numbers, and the flow of solar winds. And this year's winner in the Infosys Prize for Social Sciences is keeping with that theme, and he is researching the flow of connections in network communities. He's a professor of economics at the University of Cambridge. He received his BTEC in civil engineering from IIT Mumbai, a master's from UC Berkeley, and a PhD in economics from MIT. To announce the award for social sciences economics, it is my pleasure to introduce the jury chair, Professor Kaushik Basu. Professor Basu is on leave from Cornell University, where he is the C. Marx Professor of International Studies. He was formerly the chief economist at the World Bank. He has held advisory posts with the Reserve Bank of India, the International Labour Organization, and the World Bank. He was also the chief economic advisor to the government of India and was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 2008. Unfortunately, Professor Basu could not join us physically in Bangalore this evening, but he's recorded this video to tell us about this year's award for social sciences. Can we have Professor Basu's video, please? The Infosys Prize for the year 2016 for the social sciences, this year it was economics, is awarded to Professor Kaivan Munshi in recognition of his remarkably deep analysis of the multifaceted role of communities such as ethnic groups and castes in the process of economic development. Kaivan Munshi is the Frank Ramsey Professor of Economics at Cambridge University. In reaching the decision to award him the prize, we had a remarkable jury that I was chairing. There was Professor Avinash Dixit of Princeton University, Nirvikar Singh of the University of California, Santa Cruz, Arunava Sen, Indian Statistical Institute, Garons Jenico, Georgetown University, and Roger Myerson, University of Chicago and a Nobel laureate. We reached the decision completely unanimously. In today's world where migration is so important and networks, ethnic networks, community networks play a remarkably important role, Kaivan's research, which combines formal econometric analysis along with a sense of history and awareness of institutions is extremely important. Kaivan began as a civil engineer. He was educated at IIT Bombay and subsequently got a PhD in economics from MIT. He has worked on many countries. India is one of them very prominently, but he has also worked on Mexico, on Kenya, on United States. It's a rich set of work, some of which has been extremely influential, and in particular, the role of caste-based networks, which he did with Mark Rosenzweig, has played an important role in enhancing our understanding of these particular institutions for development. I'm very happy to be able to congratulate Kaivan Munshi for being the recipient of this year's award. Kaivan, this is very, very richly deserved. Congratulations. Thank you. And here is Professor Kaivan Munshi telling us about his work. Development today is a very empirical field. And I think this has its benefits. Uh, we learn about the world because of the huge amount of data that we are generating. But at the same time, there is a danger that we will not be able to make much sense of what we actually observe or uncover without an underlying theoretical framework. I think this is something which development economists will have to come around to and which we will have to deal with ultimately. There has to be a balance between theory and empirics. I like to think that my work informs other professionals about the world we live in and I think there is room for that type of research as well. I am Kaivan Munshi and I study the role that communities play in the process of economic development. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming on stage Professor Kaivan Munshi, 
I request Mr. Mohandas Pai, the anchor trustee for this category, to join us. I request Dr. Ramakrishnan to give the Infosys Prize in Social Sciences to Professor Kaiwan. May I request Professor Sen to help us with the prize presentation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Sen. Thank you, Mr. Pai. Uh, this is a great honor, and uh, I want to thank the Infosys Foundation for their generosity. Um, <clears throat> so this prize is um, of particular importance to me because it is conferred by an organization that is based in India the country that I was born and raised in, and also the country in which I have done most of my research. Uh, as I look back over my life, there are many people and many places that I need to thank, and which made me what I am today. Um, I was very fortunate to be sent to Bombay International School, um, a school that is modeled on the American system, where I was allowed to to explore, to be creative, and to question. Uh, subsequently, I benefited from the rigorous uh, Indian educational system at Cathedral School, and then at IIT Bombay. Uh, in the years that followed, I've been privileged to be a student and on the faculty at some of the world's great research universities. And I have benefited a great deal from the many brilliant minds that I came in contact with. Uh, I want to also just mention a few people that have been particularly important in my, in my intellectual development, a couple of whom have actually been previous winners of this prize. Um, my first mentor in economics, uh, Kirit Parikh, who was then the director of the Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research, who gave me a start in economics. My PhD supervisor, Abhijit Banerjee, who taught me how to think like an economist. Um, my fellow students at MIT, Esther Duflo and Jack Porter, who taught me how to do empirical work. And my um, long-term collaborators, Mark Rosenzweig and Nancy Luke. Uh, but perhaps my greatest debt is to uh, the community that I was um, born in, the Parsi community, and the country that um, I was raised in, um, India for the great support that I received and for the inspiration for all of my work. Um, finally, of course, I want to thank my friends and my family for putting up with me all these years. And um, most importantly, my mother. Um, I think uh, I wouldn't be here today if she wasn't, if it wasn't for her. Um, if she was here today, I hope that she would have been proud that some of her effort did pay off. Thank you. Thank you.